People who like to listen to their song playlist in the order they choose might prefer using a CD over a magnetic tape. But why is that so? To understand that, we have to take a closer look at the type of access method each one of these use. Magnetic tapes use a serial access method, while CDs use a direct access method. First, let's take a look at serial access, which is the type used in magnetic tapes. If, for example, the song playlist consisted of seven songs, and the user wanted to play the fifth song, he would have to go through each song from one to four to reach the song he desires. This is how serial access works, and so we observe that, when using serial access, it is necessary to start from the beginning of the file and then access each record in turn until the required record is found. And now let's take a closer look at direct access, which is used in CDs. If the user wanted to play the fifth song, he would be able to listen to it without having to go through the whole sequence of songs. And this is how direct access works, and we observe that when using direct access, you're able to access the data directly from its position. And that's why a person who would prefer to listen to songs in the order they choose might want to choose CDs over magnetic tapes, because if they wanted to listen to the fifth song first, they wouldn't have to go through a whole sequence of one to four, while if using a magnetic tape, they would have to go through the whole sequence just to listen to this song.